Hi, my name's Steve Webb, Head of Creative Partnerships, Google EMEA. We're building on Google's presence at Cannes, so we first started coming to Cannes about four or five years ago, and the space is starting to get bigger and bigger, and what we try and do is put together places where people can come and relax, so lots of lounge space, we've got free Wi-Fi, and we try and get a, a blend of somewhere that you would you, know, you actually want to spend time, um, and then also just make it fun. A lot of the uh, the demos and things that we've got going on, you can you know make your own t-shirt, we've got refreshments, smoothies, and there's yoga in the morning, and then we also have things that just you know just try and get people to think a little bit about creativity and, and Google's role in that process. So we've got like Lego workshops that we're demoing some of our products. The bit that we're probably most excited about is we have a series of what we call lightning talks here, and this is where we just bring in people um, who are recognized in the industry just to come in and share their thoughts. It's really open, um, it's up to them what they talk about, it's really just to inspire people and just you know, kind of emphasize some of, the, some of the themes that we're trying to bring at play. Google's main role here is just trying to show that we are a fantastic canvas for creativity. Um, so that can either be um, through like, you know, the products that we've got or it's also the people as well. We're running an event today called YouTube Elevate. So what we want to try and do is introduce content creators to the creative minds and really try and spark some inspiration. YouTube's our major play here, um, really, because we, it, we think it's the space that has the most resonance with the creative community. So what we see is that traditionally creative ideas tend to get restricted by the format in which they're delivered. So the amount of amazing uh, stories that get compressed down to a 30 second or a 15 second slot, because that's the restriction, YouTube removes all of those restrictions. So we've got a, a thing called the YouTube leaderboard, and the top 10 um, videos that, that showed in 2013 for the first time we had three brands were in that top 10. So what it's indicating to us is that we know that consumers want to engage with great commercial content. You know, we had Volvo trucks, we had the Evian um, babies, and they, you know, they, these, these are, and Dove sketches, these are reaching, you know, millions of people. And again, back to that point I made about the, the, the no restriction, you know, these videos are like two, three, four minutes plus. Um, so I would say that we're really starting to notice a trend there where brands are starting to recognize the qualities and the skills that are required to succeed on the YouTube platform and I think as long as the content's right people will people will find you know will find the time to uh, you know to you know, to view it um, but getting getting the content right is critical and that's where I think we can play a place